Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to create a Google My Business profile uh, without actually having to have a physical address. So let us get in here. So the first thing is you are going to tap in your browser business.google.com right and here you will be met with the page where you're going to enter in your details of your business so now we've got a business name and we're going to name it services rendered okay and a list of businesses with those terms will come up in the drop down menu and if you don't see your physical business here it says services rendered create a business with this name so we're going to tap on that and we're going to tap on continue now directly from here you will choose your business type now if you have a local store um, you will need a physical location okay and online retail customers can purchase products through your website so that means that you don't actually have um, a physical place of business however you do still have a business address now a service business right this means your business makes visits to customers this means that you don't actually have a physical address you may be operating from home but not register that address address as your physical business address so this is the one you want to choose this is the way that you cannot have um, a physical address Okay, so if you're choosing the online retail, you still may need to um, enter in some sort of um, address detail. So we're going to play it safe when we go, we're going to go with service business and we're going to tap on next. And here you are going to enter a business category, right? So here as you, um, as you start typing, you will see um, a few options come up right so we can say we are um, stylists that's great and just remember this is just for example purposes so on our next page we're going to see that it says where do you serve your customers okay so now you're going to select um, the areas that you are are ser uh, servicing so let us go with that example that they've given us new york usa you can add multiple and then you can also change this later on and add additional later on we're going to tap on next and here you want to add your contact details so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are adding your country code all right and here you want to make sure that you are typing in your number and if you have a website you want to enter this in now it is optional it is not mandatory field so we're going to leave that blank and we're going to tap on next the next thing is you want to put your business on the map so you can get discovered by people in your area respond to reviews for your business and then you can also manage your business details across google so uh, if you would like to get news and tips about how to improve your business or invitations to participate in occasional surveys, you can go ahead and select these. However, I'm just going to tap on continue and move over to the next page now here you will have to verify your mailing address now this is not your business address or your physical address this is just where you will be getting all of your communications okay so it will be hidden from the public and we're going to go ahead and we are going to enter in our details here so we are going to just enter in a street address and let's just go in with um main road all right and um let's choose this one here and it is now entered in our information okay so what we need here additionally is a zip code so um you just have to enter in the appropriate zip code for the state so on this page we can just go ahead and tap on verify later because we do not have a physical address so here it's wanting you to show your location equipment a proof of management and we're going to just say verify later okay and we're going to again say verify later now this is the process to um create this business without having a physical address and here you can um, choose some of the services that you offer so we're going to go ahead and we're going to say we do hair coloring hairstyling and perms and 
you can also then offer a custom service if you want to and we are going to tap on next all right here you want to select the days that you are operating and then also you want to select the days and the times that you are opening so we can say we're open 24 hours on these days and we can say next all right this will all be visible to the public and here you can add messaging so if you want to accept messages you can say yes and we can tap on next and here you need a business description okay so uh, this describes um, your business all right so this is what your business actually does and the services it offers you can make this friendly and inviting we're going to tap on next now and you can now add photos of your business you can drag and drop or you can select now from your device that you are working on so you can see some examples here we're going to skip this step for now and then you can uh, also claim a $500 advertising credit um, you can start advertising with Google Ads but for now again we're going to say skip and you can then also get a custom domain with google workspace we're going to skip that too if you already have a website and once you are verified we're going to tap on continue once you verify your business um with that business video of where you operate and how you operate you can go ahead and actually have your business available and visible to customers now if this was helpful drop us a like we'll see you next time